So here we are. We're going to install Tiny XP in a virtual box for gaming on a Windows Vista machine or OS X computer. So first thing we're going to do is open up VirtualBox. Hopefully we've already downloaded and installed VirtualBox. Here's your VirtualBox. Now we're going to create a new one. We go next. We type in Tiny dash XP. I'm going to hit two because I've already got one installed. So we're going to do a second one. Windows, Microsoft Windows, Windows XP, and next. I'm going to give it one gig of my eight gigs of RAM. You can give it more or less if you want to. 500 megs is fine for Tiny XP. We're going to go to Create New Hard Disk. And we're going to go Next. We're going to go Dynamic Expanding. Uh, for this one, for me, for right now, I'm just going to do 10 gigs. Leave it as default. If you think you need more space, just use this thing. Drag it up, drag it down. doesn't matter, but whatever. 9, 10 is fine for me. Now, for me, I'm just going to, I'm going to save this damn thing on my desktop because I'm going to delete it when we're done. So I'm just going to go Tiny Dash XP. And I'm going to save it on my desktop. You probably want to save it in a different location, like on one of your other drives. But I'm going to save it on the desktop because I'm going to delete it as soon as we're done because I've already got one set up. And then finish. Okay, we're done on that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to change some of my system stuff. System, I'm going to lose the floppy. I'm going to leave the RAM alone. I'm going to go to processor. I'm going to give it four because I have eight. You can give it two if you've got four, or you could give it four if you've got four. It'll still run all right. Display, I'm going to take this up to 64 megabytes. I'm not going to enable 3D acceleration, but maybe we should for this demo because we're going to, we're doing this for gaming. Okay, now CD, we got to put a CD in here, and it says it's empty, so we're just going to go here. Now, Tiny XP is already there because I put it in before, but we're going to go add. We're going to go find Tiny XP on our drives. Uh, that's not it. That's it right there. So we've already downloaded Tiny XP. It's there. It's an ISO file. We select it. We hit open. Well, guess what? It says, oh, you already have that. It's already there because I already put it in. Okay, so we hit OK. We hit OK again. Uh, I'm going to go back to settings again. This time, I'm going to change my network setup from NAT to bridged. Now we're done with this business here. Now we can just go ahead and start it. <clears throat> Press enter. Install. Hit one. Again, hit one. Now it's going to install. So basically at this point you can have a beer or a cigarette and just hold on. Enter. Install. Happy dappy. I'm going to choose quick format. MTFS. Okay, so now you think you're done, but you're not done. It's been installed. It's rebooted a couple of times. We've got it here running. We're, we're, we've got our mouse. We can get it in and we can get it out. But what we need to do now is we go up here to where it says Devices, and we go Install Guest Editions. And now this is going to allow us to make this XP run at full screen. We'll go with 3D support because we turned that on earlier. Reboot now. So now you can see we can change the size of the screen here. Go all like that. Oh, look at that. Nice and big. And now we go machine. We can even go full screen. Don't show this made again. Full screen, non-full screen, full screen. Oh, isn't that sweet? You are now good to go running Windows XP full screen on your computer. Awesome. Have fun. Bye-bye.